So coming to non-ideal solutions, based on what kind of interactions the molecules A and B have with each other, you can actually distinguish between two different types of behavior in these solutions. And one case where the AB interactions, when you mix the two liquids together, are much stronger the intermolecular forces between A and B are much stronger than either AA or BB. So this is one scenario. What happens is the partial vapor pressure of E, A and B are actually lower than what you would expect for an ideal solution. And the solution as a whole also has a lower vapor pressure. So you can basically say your PA, partial vapor pressure of A is lower than PA ideal if you want to say just i here and pb is lower than pp ideal and the other uh, behavior the second type of behavior is where your ab interactions the, in, the intermolecular forces between the two liquids are actually weaker uh, than the interactions within each liquid so aa or bb here so this is weaker and this is stronger. So in this case what happens is you will observe a positive deviation. So this will be PA is actually more than what you would expect in case of an ideal solution and PB is more than what you would expect in case of an ideal solution. So, so in this case where AB interactions are much stronger, these molecules are sort of stabilized in the solution than in the vapor phase. So they would actually prefer to be in solution and hence the, the equilibrium partial pressure that results from a solution like this is going to be lower than in case of an ideal solution because it's more difficult for these molecules to get out of the liquid phase. So you basically call this negative deviation, negative deviation. So let's draw the graph of vapor pressure versus mole fraction and see how this looks. So you have your again the same thing xa equals 1, xb equals 1. So let's just this is the dotted line that represents the ideal scenario the you know Raoult's law is pb naught. So remember pb naught is a constant. This is not going to change whether the solution is ideal or not because this is when your xb is equal to 1 when there's no other component in the solution. There's only one component. So, so then you have the dotted line for pa. So this is pb ideal. This is pa ideal. And this is pa naught. And this is your P total ideal. P total ideal. PA, the actual PA for this real solution is going to be lower. So it follows a curve like that. The shape of the curve is going to depend on, you know, again, the type of components involved. In, and then PB is again going to be lower. Uh, similarly, when you add up these two, pressures you get the total pressure and that is also going to be lower. So this is what you get for a negative deviation form from Raoult's law. So now coming to this scenario where your AB interactions are actually weaker, we'll look at some examples in the next video but you'll find out that you know when you have interactions between AB that are weaker they don't have a stabilizing effect, but so it's actually much easier for these uh, molecules to get out into the vapor phase. So as a result, you'll have a, a larger partial equilibrium vapor pressure for each of these uh, components. And hence, you have a positive deviation from Raoult's law. Positive deviation. So in this case, again, what happens is you have the same lines that are represented by Raoult's law, ideal case, so PB0, PA0, XA equals 1, XP equals 1, then here you have a positive deviation. So, the, so this is PB and this is PA, PB ideal, 
P A ideal and as a result P total also has a positive deviation. And this is P total ideal. So we'll look at examples in each of these categories and, and you'll understand this better.